It's discussion time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, let's have a constructive conversation and discussion regarding is Unix incapable of looking after a small to medium business's network server? Most people will tell you yes. I beg to differ. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is discussion time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel and we are primarily looking at these network server operating systems from a small to medium business point of view. So we're not looking at large, we're not looking at enterprise, we're looking at small to medium business of about five to 50 users, okay? Right, let me look at the crux of this problem. Okay, I've got a table written up, which we'll have a look at shortly as well. But right now, as of April 2018, there are three operating system basis available for network servers. The malevolent and somewhat benevolent Windows. Linux kernel distros and the various offshoots of those distros and then the Unix kernel distros and their various offshoots. Okay. You're a small business. You've got around 10, 15 users. You go and see an IT firm to set up your network and your servers and workstations. And most of the time, at least here in Australia, it's reasonably common, it's a Windows server with Windows workstations. Now, you may not require a PDC, but you want you don't want the modem to look after you. So you want a network server to handle DACP, DNS, gateway, firewall management, etc. We all know how to set up a Windows DACP server. It's one of the easiest things to set up in Windows. You install DACP, you install DNS, you install file system, you statically assign the NIC, the onboard ethernet, and you tell all the workstations to point to the Windows server for endpoint IP addressing. Simple. Okay? Dead easy. Even easier in the GUI. Now, the desktop for it. Simple. Done. We can all do that. Okay. And you've got a simple Windows network server. All right? If necessary, you may end up going to a... TLD, PDC. Who knows? Okay, sort it. Linux kernel distros. Some of them come with a GUI, some don't. Again, setting up a Linux server is fairly easy. We know with most Linux server distros, you get ISC, DACPD server embedded within the operating system. Then you've just got to sort out your DNS and your gateway, you still statically assign your Ethernet NICs, and you're done. Unix. Same difference. You set up a text file, which is the configuration file. You enable the daemon, done. You follow the same steps as the other two. You statically assign the NIC. You set up the DNS, you set up the gateway, you set up the firewall, sort it. If you want to run a Samba PDC, either under the Linux kernel or the Unix kernel, obviously then you install Samba and get it configured. Now, let's take Windows out of the equation for the moment. We know that setting up a Linux or Unix-based PDC is a little bit more involved. Obviously, you may want to add cups to it. You'll obviously need to add a bit of LDAP uh, scripting to it. Uh, etc. And you've obviously got to set up the realm, uh, IP addresses allowed, disallowed, net masks allowed, disallowed, etc. Okay. If you just take a standard network operations server running a work group 
platform rather than a TLD PDC. All three server OSs will do the job today. Now, a lot of people will tell you that, oh, no, 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 don't, don't use a Unix system. It's too old. It can't look after your needs today. It's not going to offer good network performance. It's going to be too slow to do anything on. Now, the reason they may say that is because Linux, on the surface of it, appears to do everything faster. But in actual fact, if you break it down to the three, all three operating systems can run a small to small medium to medium business on a par with each other. Whether you're talking SQL databases, Samba, public file sharing, NFS mounts, all this. Even Windows 10, if it's set up properly, can talk to an NFS server if necessary. You know, R-sync it, dump it, whatever, for backups. Okay, fine. So. We know that the three out there can do it. So why is Unix looked on as being not able to do it? Because the feeling out there is that Unix is still sitting in the 80s. There's been no advancement to Unix. Unix can't deal with a network today. Unix is too slow to send out addresses. Unix is too slow. Unix is too cumbersome. You know... Unix is still all CLI. Well, yeah, on a server it is, yes. Majority of the time, the BSDs will default to a shell environment. If OpenSXCE detects a graphics card, it will pull up on a graphics card. If Solaris detects a graphics card, you get a GUI with it. So, if you're a small business, and someone says to you, no, don't get Unix, it's too old, it won't run your network. Runs my network here beautifully. Right at this point in time, I've got the Mac running, the main PC running, the other half's using her phone and her laptop, I've got the media PC updating, I've got my mobile updating, I've got the tablet doing some stuff as well. The network is not running slow at all. Okay, so you may have an SQL database with your small to medium, small, medium to medium business that needs regular manipulation, data put in, data taken out, updates, etc. Does that mean Unix can't do it? No, of course it doesn't. Unix will do it. You can put an SQL database in with Unix, the BSDs, Solaris, the Illumos distros, they'll do it. The reason being is that Linux distros are newer. They get regularly updated. But when you actually break down the cracks of it, all three can run a small to medium, small to medium business as good as each other. Unix has security and flexibility. Linux has security and flexibility. Windows, yeah, to an extent. But in actual fact, if you have a small business, a Unix-powered network will give you the same advantage as a Linux-powered network, which will give you the same advantage as a Windows-powered network. Okay, with the Unix, it's a little bit more intuitive, a little bit more structured. It's maybe not as free as Linux systems are. It might not be as forgiving as Linux systems are. But it will run your network just as good as a Linux distro or a Windows distro. What I'm going to do is bring up this little table I've made up, and we're going to discuss the various distro, the various kernel distros out there. And I'm going to explain to you why I think it's unfair that Unix, as an operating system, gets a bad rap. Let me bring up the uh, let me bring up the uh, the little table I've written. All right, so here is our little table that I've written up about uh, Unix, Linux, and Windows, all right? Now, under Unix, we have a multitude of operating system basis available in the various distributions that are out there of Unix, all right? So we've got the BSDs. We've got OpenFreeNet. 
We've got the Solaris's, 10 and 11. We've got the Illumos Distros in Open X, SXCE and the Open Indiana Hipsters. And whilst it's not really Unix, it's the Darwin Unix version, but essentially, for the purposes of this video, Mac OS X server. All those three Unixes will run a small, to, small, medium to medium business network server. No problem. They'll all do it. Samba, NFS, etc. Okay? Then we come down to Linux. Now we've got Red Hat, its various offshoots. We've got Ubuntu, its various offshoots. We've got Debian, its various offshoots, including UCS. Also included in that, we've got OpenSUSE, SUSE Enterprise, um, myriad of them. And then Windows Server, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2003, 2000, whatever. So, if you're a small business to medium business right now, all those three operating systems, without a shadow of a doubt, will run your network. Even if you want to run a TLD PDC, they will do it. Okay, so why are these Unix ones, well, maybe not so much MacOS, but why is Unix looked on as being incapable of looking after a small to medium business's network needs. Simple fact being is that its reputation out there of being cumbersome, slow, inflexible, boring, all CLI based, everything is the big problem. But what you've got to look at is, is what does a small business need in a network server? Okay. Let's say the network server runs the network. So you need DACP, you need DNS for the endpoint workstations, Oops, you need DNS lookup for the endpoint workstations. You need a gateway to get out to either the firewall or modem or whatever. Are, those, are these Unix kernel distros incapable? No, they're not. Very capable. Does that mean that a Linux-based kernel distro outperforms a Unix-based kernel distro when it comes to a small business server? My point of view, no. If you have a small business that has an SQL database, all those Unix kernel distros, primarily including Solaris 11, are quite capable. Very capable of doing SQL database. Unix's reputation is what is hurting it. People still see Unix as an inflexible, too highly strung operating system that cannot perform today. Now, Mac OS and Solaris 11 are probably exceptions to those rules, if only just. Now, in the past, when I was working, I have suggested Solaris, I have suggested Hipster to business operators, small to medium business owners, for their network server. No, they did not want it. They didn't even want a Linux kernel. It was Windows or nothing. Now, for a network ops server, primarily, for a small to medium business, all you really need is some sort of public file share, DACP networking, gateway access, possible NFS, maybe some sort of database, and some sort of firewall. Both Unix and Linux come with them. I ask again, is Unix that irrelevant that it can't run a small business? I beg to differ. I have got one business in Melbourne a long time ago. I think they finally closed up shop two years ago. Solaris 11 ran their network. 
ran it beautifully. No hassles, no qualms. It was reliable. They had a, it was a 15 person business. They had a small 22 gig SQL database. Solaris Unix ran it beautifully. It was one of the few companies I had, I had to go back there to make sure they weren't hiding from me because the thing never had a hiccup. So people will sit there and say to you, you know, don't use Unix because it can't do anything. I'm trying to expand out on this, bear with me. All right? Unix can't do anything. You know, it won't look after your network. It won't run your network. It'll take too long to do anything. Now, I disagree with that fact. I think for a small business, all three of those base operating systems are capable of looking after a network at the core level. Now, with Windows, you've got the firewall, you've got Windows Defender, you've probably got antiviruses you can install harden up the firewall, all that type of stuff. You can do that without a problem. You can do the same thing with Linux. You get Clam AV, you might want to harden that up. You've got the firewall, the packet filter, all this type of stuff. Unix, same thing. So is it fair that Unix gets a bad rap because the misnomer out there is the fact that Unix can't look after a network today? I think it can. Look, if you're a small business who wants an operating system that's light on resources, a Unix distro will give you the same amount of functionality as a Linux distro or a Windows system. It's just that the Unix system is a little bit, all right, even I'll admit it's not exactly friendly. I'll admit it's not exactly friendly. When compared to a Linux or a Windows system, so my point of view here is that if you're a small business, a BSD or a Solaris or a, a, an Illumos Unix distro aimed at the server market will run your network with no hassle. Take the hardware architecture out of the equation. Unix can still run today's small business networks regardless of whether it's a work group environment or a TLD PDC with CUPS and Samba and LDAP and Bind and WinBind and all the other stuff available for the OS. Let us know your points, discussion points. Keep it nice, keep it clean. Um, this is a discussion. We're not looking for massive opinions, no nastiness, no argy-bargy. But if you're a small business operator, and you own your own small business, Unix could probably run your network just as well as Windows or Linux distros. Let us know your thoughts. Stick around. Don't forget tonight, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. We'll have the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations for a Tuesday night. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.